Dr. Ching, my manager just told me you would like to speak to me about a future project. Yes, Dr. Dean, I have some samples I need analyzed. I'm sorry, Dr. Ching, you must be mistaken, I am not a doctor. But I was told that you went to graduate school. I went to graduate school for exercise physiology. Listen, sport, I don't need someone to run a marathon for me. I need someone with three letters after their name to analyze some samples for me. All of our doctors are busy with other clients. If it makes you feel better I can have one of them review my work when it's completed. You will be pleased with their competency. All of them can walk on water before turning it to wine. As could you if you had their education. Possibly, but instead of teaching thousands of undergraduates how to draw Lewis structures and dip litmus paper while I read hundreds of articles from Japan, I spent the last 10 years of my life as a practicing chemist in the industry. Oh bloody hell then, I guess your feeble mind will do for the time being. Your samples will arrive tomorrow at noon, you can begin the analysis then. Well, first let's talk about what these samples are and what you'd like me to analyze them for. That's your job to figure out, not mine. Look young chap, I watch the television show CSI. Every week, I know how this stuff works. I give you stuff and you tell me what's in it where it's from, who made it and whether or not it's ever crossed the Queen's lips. Dr. Ching, if your doctorate degree was in analytical chemistry you would know that a silly television show is not reality. In order for us to provide you with quality data we need to know the composition of the samples and specific molecules that you are looking for. Bloody hell then you ignorant prick. I will entertain your inquiries for the time being. Tomorrow at noon you will receive 367 8-pound boxes in varying length. So what is it in the boxes that I will be analyzing? They contain elephant tongues. What kind of research are you doing on elephants? We recently received a $2 million NSF grant to study boredom in elephants that are kept in a zoo. What does an elephant's tongue have to do with the animal being bored? It doesn't, Einstein. It's what we put on the elephant's tongue that prevents the boredom. We've found that dosing the animals with a profound amount of acid practically eliminates their boredom for 8 to 12 hours. If you would like me to analyze for this acid and its metabolites, we will need to go through some regulatory procedures. Sorry, chap. No feds can be let in on this one. I will need a pure stock to begin the method development. Hectares, hectares, hectares. I am not falling for that one again. Do you not have a working stock that you use to make your doses? Oh trust me we have plenty. My boy Shino upstate hooks us up with enough acid to turn the entire country of Russia into bleeding heart hippie liberals. Can you send a sample that I can work with for a few days? Sure, so then you and your friends can sit on your couch, eat skittles and watch Cartoon Network as my elephant tongues sit in your laboratory. I'm more of an introspective person. Sure, then you will sit in the lotus position and throw flower petals at your cat. Perhaps we can get back to the business at hand. I will need 5 to 10 business days to develop an extraction method, possibly more due to the unorthodox nature of the samples. How about this, I will give you some numbers and you can put them in a pretty report format. I will even allow you to use various colors, fonts, shading and whatnot. I'm assuming that they taught you this at Upper Iowa University. Perhaps I should refer you to a different laboratory. Perhaps you should get a new haircut before Billy Idol gets jealous and kicks your ass.